time. Well, not much longer. Sheila, I... I wanted to give this back to you. No, keep it. Please, Sheila, I don't make this harder than it already is. I can't keep it. I can't hold on to you while I go away. Of course you can. I want you to hold on to something that reminds you that I'm Sheila, God damn it! I don't want you to wait for me. I don't want you to waste away waiting, dreaming, writing up silly little letters that only give you hope. If hope's all we've got, then I'll take it. Sheila, please. I don't know what happens to me after I get on this train. I don't know it, if I'll wake up tomorrow or the next day. But I do know that you'll get the train home today. And you'll probably cry this evening and tomorrow and possibly the next day. But one morning you'll wake up and you'll stir your tea and you'll realise that you didn't... that you didn't cry at all that day. And, and time will pass. And you'll meet someone. Yes, you will. You'll meet someone. And they will love you. <laughs> and you will love them and you'll be happy. I can't take it back. I won't. Sheila, please, I, I love you. I just... I couldn't live with myself if I let you wait for somebody that might never return. Peter, take the necklace. Or throw it away if you want. But I couldn't live with myself either. If I let you leave here thinking that you didn't have anyone waiting for you to return. So, for me. Okay. Oh, God! God! Oh, God, oh, I'm so sorry! <laughs> no, it's okay. It's I'm so not, sorry. It's not anything. Oh. No, because I've just ruined your chocolate. <laughs> Oh, it's okay, they're just for my mum. Is it Monday moans? Monday moans, exactly. <laughs> I mean, you can't miss out on a gossip session about Tilda and her menage a trois, can you? Menage a what? Menage a trois, it's French, you dickhead. You know, Tilda and that couple up the road. Oh, she's got stamina, that girl. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she's a woman, but yeah, she does. <laughs> Or well, that, and she makes a mean banana bread. That she does. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, to... Oh, I don't really want any of your pavement chocolates, to be honest, mate. Understandable. <laughs> well, you look nice. Oh, thank you. For a night in with your mum. Do you think if I gave Mark the chocolates instead, he might like them? Were well, the chocolates always meant for Mark, Connor? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why. I panicked and said they were for my mum. I mean, we're not even doing Monday moans this week. She's getting a mud wrap. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? I mean, I don't even know if he likes me stop, or not. Stop, stop, stop. <sighs> I think Mark will fucking love them pavement chocolates. <laughs> well, I might not mention the pavement thing. That might be a good idea. Go get it, Tyler. Mm, I love you. You okay? Yeah. You sure? Yes. Cup of tea? No, I'm all right, thank you. Mum, listen to this. We were like gods at the dawning of the world, and our joy was so bright we could see nothing else but the other. Isn't that just beautiful? Stunning. You know, what you two had was really beautiful, Sam. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? Absolutely. Do you think he, uh... Doesn't know what the fuck he's missing? Absolutely. <laughs> Are you sure you're okay? No. <laughs> I'm not really sure I am okay, if that's okay. <laughs> of course, it's, it's more than okay. Can I do anything? No, I'm happy to just, you know, sit here and, you know. No cup of tea? 
<laughs> All right, yeah, the cup of tea actually might be quite lovely. Perfect. <laughs> it's just how I say I love you. I know, Mom. Don't forget the... Chocolate digestives? Never. Cut. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. <laughs>